Alright, what's the crack everyone and welcome along for another True Sim Challenge. This week's course is Fox Chapel Golf Club, which is designed and recreated by Pit1976. Uh, as we can see here at the moment on this screen, fairways are going to be normal, greens are going to be normal, and green speed is going to be fast. And obviously the way that we do it now is we are going to be spamming the living crap out of the D-pad now just to get the wind. Alright, we're going with high winds this week. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, and as you can see, everything else is going to be left at default. We are going to be playing off the blue tees, which are 6,769 yards. Just make sure. I know sometimes they can reverse. I know TGC2 is notorious for that. But uh, yeah, 6,769 yards. And we're going to keep it on pin set 1. All right, first tee of Fox Chapel Golf Club, and just as we're starting off, if a number of people, uh, I'd regularly get asked how do I consistently swing uh, as straight as I possibly can. Uh, so I just want to describe. I know it's not going to be, I'm not going to be able to show it properly with the uh, the lack of the shot feedback, but uh, just how I how I grip the controller. Um, right now, I just want to line this one up. Uh, the winds look a bit more on the medium side at the moment. They'll probably pick up, um, but pretty much really quickly to just describe it because it can be a very long-winded explanation if I try and write it in comments. Um, basically, what I do is now I'm just sitting, I'm sitting just nice and relaxed, and I have uh, my wrists or four uh, forearms just resting on my lap on my legs. And what I kind of do is I, I grip the controller pretty much the same way I will for any other game. But what I do for the golf club is I'll slightly. Now this is aimed more towards obviously uh, anybody who uses a dual shock. So even if you're on PC and you're able to use a dual shock, um, I'll slightly push the right side of the controller forward. And when I'm taking the swing, I have my thumb underneath the circular mount or surround of the of the right analog stick, and the tip of my thumb will be pressing up against where the the headphone socket is. Uh, right index finger will be just resting resting nicely, uh, not too firm in between R1 and R2 and then a firm but relaxed grip with my ring finger and pinky or baby finger whatever you want to call it around the around the uh, the normal grip um and then just sort of my middle finger just kind of flowing around the middle of the controller for the for my left hand then pretty similar grip um but when i'm placing my thumb on the stick my thumb is going to be placed at an angle if you um, if you picture the left stick as being a clock face, it'll be sort of between about the two thirty mark, so halfway between two and three o'clock, going towards the right analog stick. Now I only place my thumb enough on the stick so that the tip of my thumb is just on line with the right hand side of the uh, the the grip. When I swing, just to make sure that I am lined up here. When I swing, as I pull as I pull the stick back and I reach the top of the swing, as soon as I feel the connection of the stick against the surround I let my thumb sort of slip to the bottom side of the stick and then I push forward and as soon as I feel so let me go up here just so I don't take a, a dodgy swing as soon I don't know if you'll be able to hear it here now but as soon as I hear that as soon as I f hear and feel the connection of the stick against the plastic surround I let my thumb just carry on forward and let the stick just kind of flick itself back into a central position Um, as I say, there's uh, there's no shot feedback on today, so. Um, but that's that's pretty much what I do. That's it's a little bit easier to uh, to explain, um, vocally rather than written in a in a comment or a reply to a comment or anything like that. Uh, but right now we've got what 90, 90 to ninety five. I'm gonna go in between. Let's say ninety two. Let's say ninety three. Call it ninety two with the elevation. Um, I'm gonna to want to nearly fully loft this. I think now they are. The greens are firm. Ooh, I think I might have pushed that a little bit. Coming around a bit far. Ooh, just off to the right side of the green. But um, yeah, what I'm planning to do, hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna get it done this week, but hopefully next week, uh, next Sunday's video won't be a society event video. Well, it might be actually. I might do it through a, a society event will be the 
nice chip in <laughs> so we still managed to walk away with the birdie there um will be the uh, as i said i don't really want to call them tips and tricks anymore but just a, an updated version of basically how i play how i uh take each shot so from the tee approach shot green putting and all that different putting methods and what i'll try and remember to do during editing as well is i will put up timestamps towards the start so if you want to see a particular part so like a particular putting method i'll put up the timestamp of where you can skip to in the video um just so you don't have to watch through the whole lot and i think we should be all right hopefully aiming roughly about those three bunkers the wind should bring it back now the bloody fairway is severely sloping but hopefully that can be all right Ooh, that's gonna feed down to the right i think yeah we're in the rough here i have played this course before but it's been quite a while a good few months since i last played it <coughs> I've got a tricky shot here. I think this is going to have to be a punch. Um, 180 to 200. Hmm. It's a par 5. So, let's. Oh, we're on punch there. Um, so, I think, yeah, I think I'll just do this because we get a good bit of run out of it. The only problem is I have a bit of a blind shot. Let's say, hopefully, aiming about here should be alright. Not very often have to use a punch shot, but... Oh, that's going to run into the rough again, I think. Yeah, I should have gone down another club or two. Well, it's only light rough, it shouldn't be too bad. A pitch shot up onto the green, it looks like. Yeah, I've only got 35 to 40. So that might actually be... Might get away with a flop shot here. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, I think, I think we'll try a flop shot. Might get away with it. So hopefully it's more close towards the 40 yard mark. Oh. <laughs> You're kidding me. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so I'll first I'll be chipping off the green for uh, for a birdie. And now we're flopping it in for an eagle. So <laughs> I'll take that. Um, oh. <laughs> See how well the rest of the round goes. Probably going to go completely tits up now for the rest of it. But uh, all three, par three, stroke index at two. Uh, it's 208 to the pin. I'm going to be playing roughly, what, 205 at that elevation. Certainly want to be playing probably about... Yeah, I think maybe 183. There's a 184 wind, I think, should carry it. And then hopefully it can run. Hope. Yeah, it's a bit of an angled wind, so... Oh, no, that felt slow, but it's all right. Maybe a little right. Ah, it's a little shite. A little bit shite. I'm going to flop this one in as well. <laughs> um, 20 yards, roughly. Yeah, I think I'll say... Well, maybe not. Let's say about 18 yards. Let's say We'll go in the middle and say 19 um i think i want to actually just club it up oh that can sit come on come on pull up there we go all right it's only about five or six feet five feet so first first put of the round anyway definitely a little bit uh a little bit left to right doesn't look too major green speeds are 174 Ah, nice little putt. All right, so we're moving along well. <laughs> Let's hope we can keep it going. Um, so I saved the par there. So three under through three. As well, I know last week I did not get a manhunt video up for the Saturday video. Uh, the week before, actually, I didn't either. I only got one video up that week. Uh, but what I'm thinking of doing is just dropping, at least for now anyway, Oh, I pulled that. Definitely pulled that. That just shot left straight away. Uh, we should be alright though. <clears throat> uh, yeah, dropping the Manhunt series for now because it's been about it's been about two and a half, nearly three weeks now since I've even touched the game. Uh, so there'd be just too much pissing around and fumbling with controls and stuff like that, trying to get myself into it again. So I might pick it up again in the, in the near future. 
Uh, let me see, we're pretty much 164 there. Uh, yeah, we'll call it 165, 166 with the wind. I'm going to go 8 iron. I'm going to crank the loft up a little bit for that wind. Ball's a little bit above the feet. Yeah, I might pick it back up. Uh, what I might do, maybe in a few weeks, I might start up a fresh game, <coughs> soft camera, get myself back up to where we left off, and um, maybe take it up from there again. But otherwise, I think Saturday videos at the moment. Now I'm just going to go back to other games, with a car mechanic simulator or something like that, for the time being anyway. And that looks like it wants to be breaking... To the left slightly, or to the right, sorry, near the hole. Looks like it might actually be left to right all the way. Not really too aggressive. Needs to start turning. Oh, that's all pretty straight, and I left that short. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for now. Just uh, with everything that's been going on the last couple of weeks. Through uh, a. <coughs> Colds and flus, and I still have a bit of a tickly cough. Uh, just throughout the house, just just a, a constant loop of it, um, and then just other stuff uh, that's been happening. Unfortunately, I just haven't been uh, getting the full time really to be sitting down and recording. Uh, Two ninety seven to near the end. Headwind. I just need to try and find a an aiming point. Pretty much there. The little smidgen of bunkers that I can see right in the middle of the screen should be those two green side bunkers there. Yes, I'd say it should be alright about here. Also, as well, over the next few weeks, um, this coming Sunday is the 1st of March. Uh, the Money Tour Society uh, doing a Ryder Cup event and that. So you can expect. It may be myself, it may be one of the other guys in the match that I'll be playing. Uh, it will be live streaming. Uh, 55 to 60. Say 55-ish. Just line this one up real quick. Put a little bit of loft on just in case it's more 55. Um, yeah, it will be live streaming the matches. So if it is myself, just depending on the time that we're able to play the match. Uh, there may or may not be commentary, so it's probably more likely that there's not going to be any commentary, just due to the fact that it'll be probably late at night when I am playing it, or when we do, when we are able to play the match. But you can uh, expect a few few live streams, and I am I am going to be starting up the the once a month anyway live stream. I'll say that would be a random day. It may not be same day each month. Oh, that's turning too quick, I think. Oh, wait, hold on. Oof, just burned it. Unlucky there. Decent read. Even with me yapping away. Alright, let's see if we can save the power with this little five-footer. Turn. Oh, just, <laughs> I thought that was going to run the left edge there. Oh, moving along pretty well, we're... Kind of calmed down after the first two holes now. Holding the three under though. Par, par three, stroke index four. I was about to say par four, uh, stroke index of three. Uh, but 182, we'll call it 181 to the pin. And uh, of course, typical HB, and it's going to flip it around, so I'm not getting a proper read on that. But we've got a bit of room to work with, so what we'll do, we'll take a chance. Um, fully left on the six iron. Well, a little bit. Yeah, come on, wind, pull it back. It's coming around pretty well. It's tracking. Oh, oh, oh! Settle down. Come on. That's a great approach. That looks like it's only about four or five feet. Three feet, even better. That's a beautiful shot into that green. A little left or right, should be just left edge. Alright, move things to four under par. So yeah, just apologies again as I say, just for the over the last couple of weeks, just with the, the lack of 
full content and I, I did say it would be three three videos per week two being the golf club and then one uh, but what was manhunt video in between is this not oh this is a reachable par four oh 286 up to 30 so it's going to be playing about 296 with the wind i nah i think i'm just gonna i think i'm gonna just chicken out and lay it up it's a bit of a tricky pin to get a in one so no point being stupid we'll just go go with the four iron and should just leave us with either a long pitch or a lofted lob wedge in oh maybe a little bit longer should be a lob wedge all right 70 to 75 so i'll be a pitch shot do we have a marker We're just in front of that so i'm gonna say I'll say we'll say 70 yeah so that should be a gap wedge 68 maybe a touch of loft on it a bit of an up slope oh kick on come on oh don't think I needed that loft Seventy. um Let's drop down to the putter here for a second to see what way the green is flowing, flowing left or right. Let's make sure we get back onto the chip shot. Many times I've made that mistake. I haven't noticed where. Uh... Oh, sit. A bit too much on that. Yeah, your your green side like that, and the the game defaults you to like a flop shot or something. And you go to take a swing, and before you realise how far back the uh, the club head has come for your shot, you're taking a flop and you're flying over the green. Doesn't look too aggressive. Maybe just about there, hopefully. Hold that line. Beautiful pull. Gonna hold us at four under. Four under par, yeah. So if we can get another par, or another par, do you hear me? Uh, another, another birdie. Yeah, what my usual target is that's what I like to aim aim for I know I've mentioned it a number of times I do like to aim for roughly about around about five under on the front nine as well as on the back nine that's yeah, that's me usual target score anyway oh is this gonna run out now we're okay pretty nice course as I say I haven't played it now for a long time it's been at least four or five months anyway I know it was a uh, society event but I just can't remember which one ah my name is blocking out there but it looks like 152 um, so I'm gonna say we're closer to the 140 closer to the 140 uh, so 9 iron I think with that wind I mean these winds are playing more medium more medium than high high should be roughly minimum 12 it looks like it's only about 10 or 11 mile per hour now um I'm saying 40 little touch of d loft come on when bring it across tracking pretty well Ooh. and i was thinking to myself when i club up to the eight iron yeah. Maybe a bit more D left. I think I probably only added on like a yard or something there. But 22 to 24 feet anyway. Uh, we're going between, let's say, 23. Looks like it wants to go a little bit left to right, right at the end. But definitely looks like it's starting off right to left. So I'll put it out just right at the pin. Just aim to get it close anyway. Oh, that did not turn. You know that or I pushed it or I just completely misread it. <laughs> Well, we should have, what, five or six feet? Five feet, hopefully, for the par. Again, looks right to left. And, yeah, I think so. Just a very subtle little bit. Ooh, that played a little bit more straight. I might have been just a little bit too firm, but we did catch the right side and drop it in. Right, let's see if we can get a birdie finish off the front nine. At five under. Where are those bunkers? Right, that's the green side bunkers that I can see right where the flag marker is. Um, so I'll aim pretty much over what will be the left one. 
We should take it back in nicely. Hopefully not too far. Yeah, we're okay. Middle of the fairway. 312 off the tee. Not bad. Leaving us with 140 to 150. And again, up 15. Right, 138 there. Um, I'll say 145. Yeah, I'll go in the middle and say 145. I think I want to play actually just a pitching wedge. With that wind. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. We're going to look at the elevation again. It's up 15, so if we're saying it's about 145 to the pin, up 15 would be 150. 9 iron. Crank that loft up. Hopefully, I don't screw this one up. Alright, looks like a decent swing. It is tracking around. Come on, get up there, get up. Ah, that's a nice shot in. And that is one big mound on that green. <laughs> Thankfully, we're not on the other side of it. That would be a horrible, horrible putt. But it looks like we've got a little bit. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm. It looks like it wants to be pretty straight. Let's go right at a pin. All right, and we do pick up the birdie, so I did see a slight little turn to the left there, so I'm glad that I went to the right side of the pin, but that is five under through the front nine. Let's see what the back nine has for us. Hole 10, par 4, stroke index of 11, 392 to the pin. And I'd say, going by the wind, pretty straight away. We'll aim about here. That should be roughly right side of the fairway, I hope. Pull them back into the fairway nicely anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. And should leave us no more than a pitch shot in by the looks of things. Maybe a lob wedge at most. 75 to 80. Have we got the marker? Alright, we'll go in between. We'll call it mm, 77. So that again should be a pitching wedge. Yeah, pitch and wedge pitch. We will put a little bit of loft on our pitch and wedge. Does like to hop and give a good run. So hopefully it's actually closer to the 80 if it does. It's tracking pretty well. Come on. Oh, no. Touched down to what? 70, 71 there. Ran out to 73. So, yeah, it was closer to the 80, I think. 14 to 16 feet. It's not too bad, but... Definitely looks like it wants to go... From this angle, that flag... That flag stick is leaning to the right, but the hole looks like it's going the other way. Oh, I can definitely see left or right there. Looks like it's definitely uphill a little bit as well. On turn. Oh, it did turn. Just out a little bit far. A little bit too far. I could have had another little look at that one. We're in for the par. Alright, hole 11. Par 3, stroke index of 13. 156 yards playing, 139 to the pin. Call it 135 at the elevation. That wind's definitely got to be roughly 11, 12 mile per hour. So, what did I say? 135. 9 iron. Maybe with a little touch of D left just to be safe. Come on, wind. Come on. Pull it around. No, that's not pulling it around. Ooh, just about made it onto the green there as well. It's going to be a lengthy putt. 14 to 16 feet again. We're we'll going between the call of 15. Looks like it wants to break to the left. I was about to say the right there. Yeah, definitely. It looks like it's slightly down actually as well. From Come on, get center again. Slightly downhill. Mm, no, pretty level, I think, actually. Just aim out roughly about here, I think. Maybe another touch more. Ah, that's turning too much. 
And I was a little bit shy on it as well. I'd say maybe if I put a little bit more weight on that, it might have held the line a little bit better. But, got it to two feet anyway. We'll run to the next hole with another par, keeping us at five under. Our hole 12 par four stroke index of 15, 334 to the pin. Right, just before that fairway bunker is 227. So yeah, I'd say we just aim pretty much here. We should be fine with the driver. Looks like a pretty good swing. Going back to what I said as well at the start of the video about how I grip. Oh, hold on, where's that going? Is that rough? That's like rough ass shit. <laughs> um, yeah, about how I grip the controller, how I swing and keeping it as straight as possible. The best advice that I can give, no matter what platform you're on, is, I mean, like what works for me may well not work for you if you do struggle to keep a bit of a, or a relatively straight line. Um, 50 to 55 of a wind all right it's gonna be a pitch shot put a little bit of loft on there maybe about half just in case it's closer to the 50 hopefully the wind doesn't hold it up but yeah so, i mean there's so many different grip styles and swing styles and shit that came up short the wind held it <laughs> um but yeah the best the best advice that i can give is if you are struggling just basically try Try different grips, different swing styles, like the chest grip style, or I can't even think of the name of half of them anymore. Um, but just hit up the driving range is the best thing that I can suggest, and play around with gripping the controller in different ways, different angles. Because actually, one thing that I didn't mention as well is what I, although I mentioned with the right side of the controller that I kind of push it forward, what I also have it as well is I have it very slightly raised a bit higher than the left side, so it's not perfectly flat. It's kind of pushed forward and raised up a little bit. Uh, don't take the swing, you bloody idiot. 22, 20 to 22, up 1. Call it 21. Somebody what, 33 ish. Just want to get this one close. Oh, turn. Turn. Ooh, just burned it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the, that's what I was saying. Um, Sorry if that came across, just banged off the headset there. Uh, the best advice that I can give, as I say, is just play around with your swing. Just find that sweet spot that's comfortable for yourself. Here we go for the part. And I don't know if you can hear them. I've mentioned a few times in different videos that uh, I've got two of the noisy feckers curled up beside me on the couch again. Now number three is one to chime in this time. <laughs> um... Hopefully he, he shuts up now in a minute, but hole 13 anyway, par 4, stroke index of 7, uh, 275. Can I take it off? Oh, this is a tricky one. It's a tricky one. So I don't know. I'd say I should get up and over those trees. Should do. The wind can bring it back. See what happens. Alright, we're up and over. Oh, we're going to catch that one. Straight into it. Oh, we're in the shit now we are. It's flowing down though. We can see the pin. 140 to 150. Oh, it's going to be a bastard of an approach shot. This is, right, we're pretty much level with that 150. So we're going to say it's 150. So that's minimum yardage wise anyway. 9 iron, but we are in thick shit. I'm going to club it up. 172 do that don't think so we'll go up one more Got a little touch of left on it definitely don't want to aim right just due to the trees so hopefully this works out well oh too much it's coming right around oh wait hold on hold on oh now that's only on the fringe so i can put that Decent outcome, a little bit too much fade on it. Wasn't sure how much to put on it though with the um, the side hill light to combat the wind, especially coming out of the rough. Definitely looks like it wants to break right to left. So we're going to be coming out a fair bit. Probably around about here. 
seven to eight yards, so what, 21 to 24? Come on, turn. Oh, hold. No, I'll turn more. Ooh, went out a little bit too far. Bit too far, but it didn't stop. Here's about well, four, about well, five feet. Hopefully. Scramble the par again. Alright, we're in for a par, so I'm holding steady anyway. Uh, five under. It's a little bit of a dull, dull back nine so far. Just, just holding pretty steady. I think the lowest. The lowest we shot so far on the true sim, uh, uh, the true sim challenge is uh, six under. It was the first two videos. Um, we should be pretty good. You know what? I'm gonna aim it just straight down. I'm gonna aim for a f hopefully get a fast downswing. Felt like I got it. I can see it pulling a little bit left, fighting the wind. <coughs> Chase after it. Nicely down the middle of the fairway. It looks fairly level. It might be slightly below the feet. But it's going to leave us 110 to 120 and up 10 feet. I'm going to have to go in the middle and say 115. Mm, let's look at that 141. I think I will actually say... Right, hold on, actually, hold on, hold on. Because here's a, here's a good little thing that I can do here. Now, there's the flag marker. The front of the green is 15 yards from the flag. So looking at that distance from there I want to say we're about 25 about I'd say about 25 yards 25 yards at least there is between me and the 141 marker so that's gonna be what yeah about about 115 with that wind that is gonna be sand wedge so I'll say 115 a little bit of loft on it. This is probably going to go wrong, but we'll see what happens. Looks like it's tracking pretty well. Oh, bloody hell. 105. I completely balls that one up. That's the good thing about having the range distance on. So you're not uh, guaranteed to work them out pretty well. <laughs> completely screwed that one up. Completely screwed it up. Got a lengthy put, 25 to 30 feet. It looks like it is definitely uphill a little bit. Not too major though. Uh, I think it wants to break left to right. Yeah, at least some of the way. Just go about here, just get it close anyway. Oh, I think I left that shy and it's holding pretty straight. Left that well shy. We still got about 4 or 5 feet. Another 5 footer. Pretty level it looks. Oh, but here it looks like it wants to very slightly break to the to the right. That's the problem when I go behind the pin looking back at the golfer I get my directions mixed up. But yeah, I held pretty straight. <coughs> Excuse me. So just another par. Come on. We have to get at least one or two birdies on this back nine. Make it somewhat interesting. All 15 par four stroke index of five. Wind right in the face. Now that has built up. That's got to be at least somewhere in the range of 12 to 14 mile per hour. You can see smidgens of bunkers. Hard to tell what they are though. It is a bit downhill, right? Let me see. Oh, this is a tricky one. Um, I think we're pretty much alright. Just aim straight away. Definitely just want to get a perfect perfect. It looked like that's what we've got. And um, we're fine. To be honest, I'd say I definitely would have probably had to drop down to the two wood had the wind been in the other way. But that should be leaving us well, roughly right 95 to 100 up 10. Um, I want to say we'll go between say 97. With that wind again, as I say, it's about at least 12 miles per hour. So I'll say 97, 99, 109. Uh, sand wedge. To be honest, I'm going to go gap wedge. Bear with me two seconds. I just had a, a good cough there. I just had to. Let's remember how, now hole 15, go back and, and do that in the edit and just mute that a bit so you don't have to 
suffer through that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to go... Oh no, wait, hold on. No, it's up 10 feet, so I've got to say about 97, call it 100. 112, reset that. Which is a little bit of loft, nothing too major. I think the wind will hold it up pretty well. Come on, just a little bit more right. Come on, a little bit more right to me. Or for me. Oh, that's beautiful. If it sits there, that is beautiful. Six or seven feet, it looks like now for a birdie. <coughs> Eight feet, fair enough. Wasn't too far off, but good left to right anyway. Good left to right. Let's say it's probably going to break somewhere in the region of here. On turn, turn, beautiful pull, beautifully red. <coughs> and we finally do pick up a birdie on this back nine, taking it to six under with three to play. So we have part four, stroke index of nine for the 16th hole, 424 to the pin. And it looks like we can just aim pretty much, or should be down the left side. And let the wind bring it back in. Very well done, course. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, did mention earlier, I do still have that horribly, horrible uh, tickly cough that usually always plagues me. Whenever I get a cold or flu, I'm, I'm getting over it. It usually plagues me for anywhere for three to four weeks. Uh, but we have 120 to 130 in, up 10. We've got 139 there behind us, so I am definitely leaning more towards 120. Um... Yeah, so we call it 120 with that wind. I say 123 with the elevation. That'll be a gap wedge. I am going to about three quarter left on that. Just for with the wind. Hopefully that's enough to carry it. Oh, now I'll pull it back a little bit because the wind is trying to turn. To more of a crosswind. Come on. Let's track him well. Oh shit, too much left. And that's, that's, that's uh, I should have just taken a little bit more time on that one. With the wind going from being angled to turn it back in. I could have just pulled the loft back a little bit more. But we've only got 12 to 14 feet anyway, so that'll be sand wedge chip. Pretty decent. Can it run a little bit more for me? No, it's going to leave us somewhere around 6 to 8 feet. Alright, 8 feet floor apart. Oh, we could be dropping a shot. Could be dropping a shot here. But it is left to right all the way. It doesn't look like it's too severe anyway. Say, roughly. In around about here. On turn. Turn and keep going. I left it shy. You don't want to leave a put like that shy. Bollocks. Ah, well. We are dropping a shot. Back to five under right. Come on, let's see if we can get two birdies and then that'll be a lowest score so far in the True Sim Challenge with part three coming up. And it's a stroke index of three as well. So 240 to the pin. This is where I can be in a little bit of trouble now. Kind of in between clubs. It's going to be playing about 235. With the wind being angled, I mean, I'm going to have to play the five wood. Oh, now look at that green. Certainly don't want to end up end up in that little hollow that would be a disaster i think that yeah that is definitely part of the green it's coming right through the middle um back it anyway right 226 something about 235 what we'll take a chance on is a fast down swing trying to combat the wind a little bit right definitely got it. it's holding pretty straight with the wind We've made it over that hollow, the gully, whatever you want to call it. So that would have been a nightmare scenario to end up down there. A bit of a lengthy put, probably about 25, 30 feet. 24 to 26, right, so we'll call it 25. Definitely looks like it wants to go left to right at least half the way, but now it looks like it wants to turn back the other way. Yeah, the ball's definitely below the feet, so I think I'll just go a little bit left of the hole. Just get it close. Oh, I think I've left that short. 
and it was tracking it was tracking I've left it short so three feet was 25 anyway but we did pick up the par <coughs> as I say I just wanted to make sure I got over that as I say that dip hollow gully whatever you want to call it but we have a par five to finish off anyway so hopefully can pick up a birdie and get it back to six under uh, it's a stroke index of 17 it looks like it might be reachable a bit of a challenge with the wind though um, I think I want to aim oh this is a tricky drive actually hold on need to take the time with this one aim roughly about here is that the bridges is that the bridges I can see run along the car path off to the left of the fairway looks like it is so I'll say hopefully you're aiming about here should pull it back into the fairway nicely come on oh please pull it back please pull it back come on kick kick no that's holding oh, I went out a little bit too far it's dry <laughs> but we are in pretty pretty bit of a, a bit of a pretty bad spot We've got what two forty two sixty. I mean, where are we gonna get theirs? I mean, can I even get across the stream with four iron? I don't know. Two ten there. To be honest, I think I am just going to. Well, I mean, to be fair, I mean, yeah, I can see the bridges here see the bridges they don't like I mean it looks a lot further there in the overhead than it does here I don't want to go into the drone don't like going into the drone and technically kind of cheating because if I was on the golf course I wouldn't be able to see but now I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna chicken it out don't want to screw myself up and end up in the water so I think we'll just pitch it back out onto the fairway let's pitch it back out it's going to be a long approach in, so I think we're just going to be picking up a par here, unfortunately. It just went out a bit too far off the tee. But it's 220 to 240 in, up 20. There's 210, so I'm going to say 230. If we'll go in the middle, say 230, call it 237. The wind is roughly 10 to 12 mile per hour. So I'll say 237. Go a little bit to the left. Oh, a bit too much fade. I think the ball is a bit below the feet. Where is that going? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's stunned. That's a beautiful shot. That is beautiful. That worked out very, very nice. So three feet, we can still hopefully get the birdie, actually. I, I was expecting to come away with a par here. I want to be a little bit careful on it. And we do pick up the birdie on the final hole, taking it back to six under par. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty dull. Great, great start to the round with the, the chip in, followed by a flop shot in uh, for a birdie and then an eagle. Uh, but five under through the front nine, bit of a dull start, or half of the back nine anyway. Then a, then the one birdie and the bogey, but finishing it off very luckily, as I say, with a, with a, with a final birdie uh, to take it back to six under. But that has been Fox Chapel Golf Club for this week's true sim challenge i hope you did enjoy the video if you made it this far thanks very much for watching i shall talk to you all in the next one as i say it's going to be a random one it's not going to be man hunt it might be car mechanic simulator or whatever and then again on sunday for the next uh society event video and next week is not going to be a society event video unless i do decide to do the the how i play my rounds video how i set up all my shots and all that sort of crap uh, it may well be a side event video or I might just pick a course but that will be next week but again thanks very much for watching I hope you did enjoy it if you did make it this far and I shall talk to you all then until then have a good one take care and bye for now